Uh, the future of Sir Philip Green's Arcadia Retail Group could be determined by some of its biggest landlords later today. They are due to decide whether to back plans to cut rents on some branches of Top Shops, Dorothy Perkins, Wallace and Miss Selfridge, among others. If they reject them, Arcadia could collapse. Coletta Smith has more. Arcadia are the backbone of hundreds of high streets across the UK. It's not just Topshop, but Miss Selfridge, Burton's, Wallace, Evans and Dorothy Perkins. 20 years ago, they were churning out big profits and peak high street fashion. But Topshop has been falling out of fashion. They've faced big competition from online retailers. A lot of people say they haven't invested enough to make their stores swanky. And the boss, Sir Philip Green, has had a lot of negative publicity. All of that means that this store is one of nearly 50 he's hoping to try and close. That's why he's hoping to convince his landlords to sign a deal agreeing to close some stores and pay less rent for others in order to save the rest. The trouble is his biggest landlord isn't keen on the idea. Arcadia bosses have spent the last week making last-ditch attempts to try and convince landlords like Into to support the plan. And they say that if it's not approved by 75% of investors, then the whole business could go into administration. That's nerve-wracking for staff. They're sat there on the sidelines while their employer is having a negotiation with the landlords over the future of their job. But there's a bigger issue here as well, because we're seeing lots on the high street disappearing, and that impacts on local communities and high streets like this. It's full of doom and gloom at the moment. The only shops you see now are pound shops, betting shops, food shops and charity shops. Fewer and fewer shops and less and less choice for consumers. Whatever happens today, a big chunk of Arcadia stores will close, puncturing more holes in struggling high streets. Coletta Smith, BBC News, in Ashton-under-Lyne.